Hey, I just dropped the first new episode of a series on more butter, where I look at everything and anything nostalgic. For the first episode, I ate hot sauce and tried to guess old cartoons from their intros. It was a lot of fun, so go check it out. So this is a bit taboo to do as a creator, but uh, it's kind of a great story. And I also have enough spite in my soul to be okay telling you it. Some people have been curious about some of my recent comments regarding a very specific sponsor that I used to work with. And aside from just foaming at the mouth for gossip, which I'm not above it, people are also asking me about it because they support this company and they would like to know if they shouldn't be, which I'm not gonna jump out the window and say all that. My crusade is not to dwindle their business. I just wanna talk about some things that randomly pop in my mind that piss me off. So this is just all my opinion, my experience, and my critique of the very popular influencer supported company, Manscaped. Now, a sponsor gives a creator money to promote their company and Manscaped sponsors a lot of influencers content. And I will not drag other creators by name into this, but I will say through my time speaking to other creators without even directly asking them, Manscaped has been the most complained about sponsor and it's not even close. So I was thinking for comparison, I should first show you what a good sponsor looks like. This video is sponsored by Helix Sleep. Listen, I sleep regardless of what my face says. Helix Sleep makes premium mattresses and bedding customized to fit your needs, conveniently shipped right to your door. We all sleep differently. Some of us on our back, some of us on our side, some of us sleep with others, some of us shouldn't be sleeping with others, Samantha. Darren's gonna find you out. That's why Helix made the sleep quiz to match you with your perfect mattress. And based on my results, I was matched with the Helix Midnight Lux, and let me tell you, audience. I've had it for about a month now and personally I'm a side sleeper. I like medium firm, pause, and I have not slept on my old bed since. It is genuinely the best bed I've ever slept on. I know you might be a bit hesitant not being able to lie on the bed before you make the purchase, but Helix Sleep gives you a hundred night sleep trial along with a 10 year warranty. There's financing options, flexible payment plans, and if it's not the right mattress for you they will pick it up and dish you out a full refund. You can click on the link below or you can go to helixsleep.com slash mr. Gigi for up to $200 off your Helix mattress plus two free pillows. And thank you, Helix Sleep, for sponsoring this video. Manscaped is a company that specializes in grooming products and those alike. They sell electric razors to mow down your pubes, ass pubes, gooch pubes, anything that's fucking ruining the airflow down there. And the cute charm of all the ads that the influencers do for Manscaped is, oh, this may be TMI, but uh, you ever feel a little stuffy? down there. I know I have, that's why I've got the long red. Shut the fuck up. Sorry, this experience has made me a full on hater. <laughs> Even though I know I've done ads like that. I saw a Manscaped product in Target last week and I wish I could have pulled the footage from the cameras. Just full on head turn. I stood there for like two minutes. Just disappointed in Target and Congress. So back near the beginning of 2020, I started to see some influencers advertise Manscaped. And I thought, oh, this is right up my alley. I'm trying to get all the Fleshlight sponsorships, all the Adam and Eve sponsorships. I still want Boo sponsorships. It's so funny to me to be crude in an ad where I'm getting paid. I mean, even with regular sponsors, I just like to see what I can get away with. It's just a sick game to me, but it's fun. So back then I actually reached out to Manscaped and applied to their team of influencers, which I had never done. But I really wanted to partner with them back then. You guys sell ball deodorant? That's hilarious and will be high key used. I'd actually used their product before officially partnering with them and it passed my little round of quality control. So I thought this was perfect. And then I got a response from them. I think it's just some shit copy pasta that was offering me $250 worth of Manscaped products and swag. Wasn't even money. <laughs> I denied that immediately, uh, but turns out they were looking at my Instagram and not my YouTube. So I backed off and I disregarded the disrespect that I thought I just got. I go get in contact with the YouTube side and they ask me, hey, what's your rate for a 60 second integration? And quick note, I'm not gonna be using the real numbers, but I will be giving you accurate ratios in terms of ask and payment. So I said, $10,000 is my rate for a 60 second integration. They replied, we've analyzed your follower count, average engagement rate per post and posting frequency. We've compared your metrics with many of our previous influencer campaigns. We've modeled your price point and it's gonna be hard to hit ROI. That's return on investment. We'd like to offer you $4,000 for your first campaign with us. This price point projects to perform well as a part of our first campaign, which would then unlock the ability to have an ongoing campaign commitment to you as part of our premier 
partner program, Smiley Face. If all sounds good, please send over your shipping address plus t-shirt size so we can get you hooked up. Oh man, this is my dick twist rereading this. So a few things to point out in that lovely cunty response. You said you analyzed my posting frequency? I've done a lot of sponsorships at this point and I can semi-confidently say no matter how long of a break I've taken or how inconsistent my uploads were, the money stayed the same. So, uh, I don't know, Manscaped. You like Billy Crystal? Cause analyze this. The clear annoying part here is that they are entirely boiling me down to numbers, which I get it. You can't put everything else into a calculator. Like, wow, he's got great personality, fucking plus two. But somehow at that point, no other company has ever hit me with the ROI workaround. Even now, they then attempt to lull me into agreeing to this price point for the first campaign, which if everything goes well, I can unlock the ability to have an ongoing campaign of commitment as part of our premier partner program. Stupid fucking smiley face. You guys aren't as dumb as I was, right? All that type of verbiage is just laughing at me right now. Premier partner, huh? That has the same stature as being in a McDonald's drive-thru and being like, yeah, I got a four digit code for free fries. So I didn't just instantly take it on the chin. I had a little integrity. I fight back and even try to compromise with them. You see, at this point I was uploading movie reviews and regular commentary videos, right? And my movie reviews consistently performed above average. At that time, in those past six months, the least amount of views I received on a movie review was 362,000 views. The highest was 1.5 million views. The channel was doing better than it is now. <laughs> so I was out here. I told them that I was planning a banger of a video that I knew would do incredible. I knew it. The video would be, I watched another four disturbing movies, which guess what? Currently has 2 million views. And I told them, I will put you on that video because you want to talk numbers? They are there consistently for the movie reviews. They didn't reply for 12 days after that. And my dumbass sent them two more emails in that time span, like a thirsty thought. I thought I blew it, honestly, for whatever reason. This is when I was super unsure of myself talking to sponsors, like, oh no, I hope I didn't ask for too much, which is not the move. And I was making a perfectly reasonable proposition. It's definitely okay to fight for your ask, or at least something reasonable when you're able to defend it on top of that. They reply and feed me horseshit. Uh, it's still kinda high. You see, we're expanding into our international markets and we're rolling out two new products. It's a lot on our plate. I mean, even the creators like you are the only reason we're relevant. This is, uh, you know? Tell you what, I don't like you, kid. You got my arm twisted, you know? <laughs> I, I, I can offer you 4,500. In case you forgot, the first offer was 4,000, which was already in incredibly short of my going rate. Here's the next paragraph verbatim. Assuming we can't hit our ROI target of 1.2 plus ROI, we can talk more about committing to multiple campaigns and higher rates. We're confident that this campaign will do very well. I mean, truly, really. They didn't say that part, that's me being funny. But need to provide value up front in order to get sign off on higher budget campaigns in the future. If all sounds good, please send us over your shipping address plus t-shirt size and we can get you hooked up, smiley face. Oh, uh, geez, I'm sorry, I didn't realize my Perfectly reasonable ask was gonna interrupt your international rollout. I mean, what's the UK gonna do without ball sack wipes? But you know what? I don't need to pay bills, pubic hair removal corporation. I just wanna be your friend. Aww. Yeah, I thought about it a lot, genuinely. And at that point, I had this hope that I could get in good with the company and we could blossom into this beautiful, mutually beneficial relationship, especially because I liked the company, but money fucking talks. I took the rate they gave me and I put them on that video. I even try hard for the ad, adding in my own little B-roll, moving around like the fucking carrying bag and shit. I didn't need to do that, but I wanted to impress them like a dweeb. And I did, they loved the ad. And the video, as I said, did fucking great. Fast forward, they reach out to do another campaign with me and they tell me that they would quote, honor, unquote, the same rate for a second campaign as they did the first. I've come to hate the word honor. Honor the same rate as you did on the first, huh? You really mean it, Puby? Like, what do you expect me to say to that? It's almost like you're, like you're knighting me or something. We're gonna honor the same rate. You, 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 you mean you'll still heavily underpay me? You shouldn't have, little pubers. I felt disrespected at this point, but I kept it professional still. And I pled my case because I wanted 
to work with them under fair payment terms. And at this point, I was managing all my own deals, so I'm still actively trying to get sponsors so I can continue to be paid. This is what I replied. That's great to hear. Although I was hoping for a fairly heavy increase in the pay rate. I think I was able to prove my worth. The amount of work I put into the ad drafts and the video I integrated the Manscaped ad into sits at 808,000 views, which is phenomenal for my channel. And it fucking was at the time. It would still be now. I don't get those numbers now. Those views were in a month. By the way, I would want to continue promoting Manscaped ads, especially in videos with high view potential, but I can't do it at the same rate. I was willing to work with that rate as a test to prove myself, but not for a follow-up, unfortunately. Please let me know your thoughts and I hope we can work together again soon. <laughs> that studious ass response. I am out here. Their response to that, once again, very reasonable ask. I understand. Unfortunately, with this economic crisis, we are getting direct orders from the execs to cancel deals. Kim Jong-un is breathing down my neck as I type my last email. I'm fighting for you, helpless creator. I really am. We've halted the majority of our marketing spend and are only able to renew things that will 100% hit ROI. During these times, this is the most we can offer and what I got approved. Please let me know if you can work something out and, and bibbity bop bibbity. By economic crisis, she means COVID. This was right around the time shit started to get real and we were being asked to quarantine. Now, this is the second excuse in a row to stop me from being paid fairly. Remember, not just more, but what I am normally paid, which by the way, uh, was still technically low for what I could have been asking for at that time, but that's my dumbass fault. I was working alone. How the hell was I supposed to know? Now at that time, I had heard from another third party that used to bring me sponsorships that COVID was affecting the market for sponsorships because no one knew what the fuck was gonna happen. Looking back on it now, it's kind of fucking crazy, honestly. So I respond. I understand. I've heard some similar things. I really do enjoy working with Manscaped. Hopefully, if you can assure me that we can take care of each other in the future, once our current situation starts to look up, I am willing to work again with that rate for now. Absolutely! It's just with everything going on right now, we need to watch our spend. Thank you for understanding, you kind, gullible soul. Can you do a second campaign this month? Sure. <laughs> uh, at this point in documenting this, I needed an intermission, 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 because I read ahead and I got mad because there was fuckery that I had completely forgotten about at this point. I think I blocked it out. So I took five or uh, four days more so. Now I do want to address at this point, some of you might be thinking this kind of sounds like your fault. I mean, you could have just said no if they were underpaying you, which absolutely. Yeah, I hundred percent could have done that. But now that I've gone down this path, let's see what this company's about. So I put them on another video, video does well. I send my invoice for the payment and I didn't notice when she first told me the amount to invoice her, but it was less than my first payment. Reason being, Manscaped, at least when I worked with them, pay you through PayPal. And when a greedy company pays you on PayPal, PayPal takes out a fee of 3%. So the first payment, Manscaped paid me the necessary extra amount to balance out the fees to pay me what was promised to me. On the second payment, that didn't happen. So my promised $4,500 turned into $4,365. And like I said, these numbers are fake, but the ratios are correct. Also, if you're the type of moron to say, dude, it's just a small fee. You should be grateful that you're even getting that type of mistake. Stay broke, my guy. Even if they gave me $20,000 and took $50 out of that when they did not need to, that's my $50. Pay me what you said. I know I'm not a psychic and have already read the comments, but I can just smell one dumbass ready to throw that one down. Dude, you should just be grateful that you're getting this money. It's okay if they take the, no, it's not okay. Why am I losing money on this transaction? Because you are choosing to pay me through PayPal. You can direct deposit the money. I'll wait. If someone took one hour out of your bi-weekly check, are you not gonna give a fuck because you worked 80 hours in those two weeks? What was? Oh, oh, you wouldn't care. No, you'd just be like, ah, no, it's fine. It's just one hour. I'm sure this multi-million dollar corporation needs it more than me. Go ahead, it's fine. I'm already losing it on taxes anyways. Might as well take more. It's as simple as pay me my money, dog. That's it. So after sending the invoice and realizing, oh fuck, wait, I'm, I got less out of this. I asked, hey, isn't Manscaped supposed to cover my PayPal fees? Because that's what you guys told me. No response. 21 days later, 
they finally reach back out. And this is where sponsors like to get real fucking cutesy. So take notes, small creators. She still didn't acknowledge my question, by the way. We saw some great engagement on your last campaigns and would love to make you an offer to lock down a longer term project with you to help make brand deals and production timelines a bit easier on your end. We'd like to offer you $6,666.66 per video, three videos, three months. What do you say? Hmm. Now look at that. We were at 4,500. That's a jump. Still underpaying me by 44%. But holy shit, the line moved. That international rollout must have gone pretty sweet. What happened? Your nail clippers sold out in Kazakhstan? Oh, by the way, that isn't the entire email. The 6,600 per video is for one YouTube integration and one IG story swipe up. Wow, okay, so you up my rate and snuck in a different platform for me to advertise you on. Nice. This next sentence gets me every time. You see, sponsors would try to lock you up on a multiple deal contract and then say really dumb shit like this. This would result in $20,000 guaranteed income for the next quarter. That's a big number. I like that number, it's so big. Yes, Manscaped. If you underpay me three months in a row, I will end up with a number that is still only double what you should be paying me. They also added in, plus hopefully make brand deal scheduling a bit easier for the rest of the year. I'm not even gonna validate that with a joke. Creator PSA, if a company tries to lock you down for several months and you are a growing channel, unless you're desperate, try and weigh out all your options and I would say don't take that deal. Your value as a creator is subject to change when you're growing. So it's possible that after growing for three months in the last month of that contract, your integration rate is actually now worth $15,000. But your dumbass is still doing an integration for Manscaped at $6,000 because you let them lock you down. It's Scottie Pippen syndrome. One of the best players in the NBA and fucking Luke Longley was getting paid more than him. But also, like I mentioned, Scottie was desperate to support his family, which respect, but he did get caught in a bad deal. Hey, editor me here popping in real quick. I also just want to add, I should have clarified this. I'm making it sound like multi-month deals are the worst thing ever. I've taken multi-month deals. I'm still open to multi-month deals. I'm just more so saying like, if you're in a booming era and you know you are, it's not crazy to have a company reach out and try and lock you down for a few months. But I would say for most YouTubers in three months, your value will more than likely not change as opposed to will change. Having guaranteed income lined up, having sponsors lined up when you are searching for sponsors is great but there have been moments where companies have reached out to me they've tried to lock me down for like a year don't ever take that deal but even some of the companies that have tried to lock me down for like three months when my channel was doing phenomenal it was like mm, can we lower it to two months can we kind of feel it out one month at a time like try and negotiate i think i made it sound a little too black and white my bad so i'm still being polite at this point because i want them to budge to just have it kinda make sense. So she says, okay, what rate are you looking for then? I have to get it approved by my boss. I thought about it and with the IG story being added on, instead of my usual $10,000 rate, I'll ask for around 11,600, which is like a 16% increase in that rate. They come back and they say, we were able to get 9,300 approved, which is, Still short of my initial rate, but they're paying me at least 80% of what I asked as opposed to 66% of what I asked. So there's that. I agree to it because I can sure use that money. And then I ask again about the missing PayPal fee from my last payment. No response. Nine days later. Hello and happy Monday. We are reaching out to let you know that my old representative is no longer with Manscaped. I'm Wizardface. Let me know if you need anything. Bye. Hey. So, are we still on for that contract? Uh, also, I've been asking this woman about a PayPal fee that Manscaped was supposed to cover. Uh, any help on that? She responds, and like I said, this verb just pisses me off. Yes, we can still honor the latest offer. And regarding my payment for the fee that Manscaped was supposed to cover, we used to be able to cover fees when we had less than 100 influencers in our network. Now that we've grown so much and gotten a new CFO, our policies around invoicing have changed. We have to use PayPal for tax slash legal reasons, but this is actually a huge, huge as italicized, huge time saver for collecting tax docs and making sure you get paid in under 48 hours. Now let's dissect that response before I punch my monitor. They cover the fees when they had less than 100 influencers. Now there's over 100 influencers and that's a lot of PayPal fees to cover. Oh, you mean that's a lot of rightful payments to send out? I asked on June 2nd, 
for that fee. You replied on July 2nd, a month later, and no one fucking told me that your influencer network was booming and you could no longer cover it? That would've been a nice heads up. We got a new CFO. Oh, dude, sick. Is he the greatest shit stain I should be messaging? We have to use PayPal for tax slash legal reasons? Why? You are the only company that I have worked with, and I've worked with probably well over 30 companies at this point, you are the only one that has said, sorry, gotta use PayPal. My hands are tied. Our accounting team only uses Cash App. And this last sentence is just a slap to the face. Huge time saver for collecting tax docs? Do you mean 1099s? Manscaped, you do realize uh, that every other non-brain dead company emails me or physically mails me my 1099, they're not that hard to gather. In fact, yours is the most complicated because I need to go to PayPal and manually bridge several payments. So what the fuck are you talking about? I have not read these emails in two years and I am pissed. Making sure you get paid in 48 hours. I really don't give a shit about that, especially when that 3% PayPal fee has also increased with my payment increase. All my sponsors pay me net 30, net 45 anyways. I'm used to waiting forever to get paid, but of course at the time I didn't have this type of energy for them. I learned a lot over time and nowadays I'm not one to put up with the bullshit when it comes to sponsors. So I just asked her, hey, is there any possibility that you can send it to me through direct deposit? Is there any other alternative? Their response? I totally hear you about the fees. We're hoping that the 107% increase in your rate will be enough to cover the extra fees in exchange for faster payment and easier taxable to boot. You got some balls on you, lady. You must be a big fan of the products. You should have just told me to suck one. Cause that's what you said. We're giving you more money. So like, you know, shut the fuck up. That exchange just completely ignoring the extra ad you're making me do on another platform. But all right, I send in one of my ad drafts for review. It's approved. And she also adds, we are working on a sizzle reel right now for a new Shears 2.0 product for our YouTube channel. Do you have any interest in sharing the usage rights with us for the footage? And we can include you and give you an at credit watermark. Great for growing your channel with our audience. Open mouth smiley so what they're essentially asking is to use my video and likeness to further promote their company beyond our initial integration agreement my reward for selling my soul when you see me pop up in a manscape dad you'll see a 50% opacity at Mr. Gigi, pain artist with exposure type beat. And it's even more rich because it's coming from a fucking company. And I'm sorry, did you say grow my channel with your audience? Your audience? Listen, Manscaped, if you got such a booming economy down there, then you wouldn't fucking need me, would you? I reply, I'll do it, but you gotta pay me. She replies, I just spoke with our VP. <laughs> I just spoke with our VP. Had to escalate that one, huh? Had to talk to the top dog. Hey, this guy's asking for something kind of crazy. Mr. Vice President, you're gonna wanna sit down for this one. I just spoke with our VP and we can secure a little over a thousand dollars ratio wise, let's say. And unfortunately, I don't know my worth in this regard. I've had enough trouble trying to pinpoint a number to figure out how much I should charge for ads in general. So I didn't know what to tell them for granting full usage to my clips so they can throw me in whatever ad they want. I was still managing my own deals at the time, but either way, it sounded low and their past history didn't help that feeling. So I told them that it seemed low. And their response to that was interesting. We don't usually pay for usage, right? It's typically baked into our contracts already, but it seems like the past representative didn't have that conversation with you. I realized that was our mistake, so this would be a special fee. We're willing to accommodate for our oversight. Beep, just for you. Beep, boop. You don't pay for usage rights? Editor me back again here. So this situation's a bit more complicated than I thought. I talked to my managers and they told me that it's actually common to have usage rights baked into the contract, either for a limited amount of time or a defined amount of time. However, if it's not in the contract or like with Manscaped, not explicitly told to me, because to my understanding, I don't think I've ever signed a contract with them, at least in the early campaigns. And yes, at that point, if you want usage rights and you haven't gotten them through contract in writing, then I would not be playing the business game if I did not ask you for money. It would be fucking bizarre if I handed it over to you just because we're working together. No. Give me money. It sucks that at the time, I didn't have the low tolerance for this type of shit that I do now. Because nowadays, even if it costs me money, I'm just not putting up with the shits. What do you need? What do you pay me? 
when do you need to buy? But unfortunately, once again, I could have really used that money, so I took it. I didn't feel good about it with not having any idea as to what that was actually worth. Afterwards, people would tag me in Manscaped ads on Instagram like, oh, dude, congratulations. Like, fucking... If only you knew. She sends me another email and for some reason, she just keeps doubling down on this insane idea that I'll get more subscribers from this, from me popping up three seconds in a Manscaped ad on Instagram. Imagine me reading a comment that says, hey dude, I'm here from the Manscaped YouTube channel. Good stuff. I saw you say nutsack cream for two seconds and I was sold. I was like, I gotta watch this guy's videos. That's nutsack cream. Also just wanna toss in that the extra usage rights that they paid for, uh, that's just lumped in with the PayPal payment. So that's more of a fee taken out. Hey, by the way, Manscaped, don't mean to bother you. Where's the watermark that you said you'd do? I know you ended up paying me for it, but you said you'd still put on the watermark. Why doesn't anybody else have a watermark? Were you never really gonna credit me? You know what, maybe it's just cut off in the Instagram video. That makes sense. Hey, let me see if you got it on your, oh, you do have it on your YouTube. Let's check it out here. Okay, all four corners. Nope. Description, nope. Ah. Credit me next time. So fast forward a couple months to me finishing out that contract for three videos. I then get an offer for a November upload integration, which comprises of one YouTube integration and one Black Friday sale announcement on IG stories and Twitter. Let's review quickly. My going rate is $10,000. And at first, as a test, they paid me $4,000. I put them on a million view video. And then they stopped covering PayPal fees. They then paid me $100. They locked me up for three months at $9,300 per integration for three months. After I had asked for $11,600 because they wanted to add Instagram ads into that rate. They paid for my usage rights, which I could only assume was too low a rate. And they've now added a Twitter post into the contract. And with that Twitter post added, I would have doubled what I added for the Instagram ad. And I would have asked for at least $13,200 for all three of those ads. Their offer in ratio to that perfectly normal ask, $6,600, half of my ask. And not to mention less than what they were already paying me. I know to some of you, this might not sound like anything, but I, I was really, I foolishly believed that there was some sort of loyalty with these brands, some rare form of camaraderie because I was a fan of their products and they seemed to enjoy the extra effort that I threw into those ads. But alas, I learned a valuable lesson that although sponsors are incredible to have on YouTube, I worked with so many great companies, so many prestigious companies that I never would have dreamed of working with. But at the end of the day, even though we temporarily pair off in mutually beneficial relationships, nowadays I just keep thinking, it's us against them. They will ring you dry of usage at the lowest bid if you let them. And of course they will. They're a business, not your friend. No matter how much you like the product or no matter how friendly the representative is, money will always speak louder than you. So on October 2nd, 2020, I finally had enough chasing this promise of being paid more after delivering on so much and declined their offer for being too low. And of course, no response. Still had the balls to send me more offers after that though. Go fuck yourself, guys. As far as you guys giving business to them, if you like their products, do you? Although I do still cringe anytime I see a fellow creator work with them. And the only way I deal with it is that just hoping in the back of my head that they took Manscaped for every fucking dime they could. As long as my guy got a bag, go nuts. I've had bad sponsor stories, but Manscaped is the worst one. It might not resonate with some of you and I totally understand that, but for me it's just like, man, it's like an ex-girlfriend that's now fucking all your friends. I'm done talking about them. They don't deserve any more shine. And uh, if any competitors of theirs are listening, my inbox is open. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Please leave a second like because you didn't leave the first. Please subscribe because I have more content coming your way. I got a second channel with content Check it out. Here are my lovely patrons. Thank you for always supporting the boy. And as always, I am Mr. GG and I am out. Bye.